Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, back with another Community Core Showcase. And we're going to start off with one of mine, and this is a work in progress. This why it hasn't been really been posted, and I also forgot. My bad. But I'd like to welcome you to the episode, and thank you all for submitting such awesome text and joining in the good one. And as always, I'm hoping you're having a good one. But we're going to start off with this, staring down the barrel of a big Bertha. We'll back on out to get an idea of what we got going on here. You can see there's quite a bit of firepower. It's got its own charging inside with solar gens while anchored. It also has a setup to charge up here and store uh, fuel. And on this side, to sell whatever we don't want. Or we could store too, I guess, just remove damn and that. Now this, is, I didn't post it because it isn't finished, but I still wanted to play around with it. You know, I had something in mind, but I didn't quite get enough parts in the campaign. Because this is part of my playthrough build that I was using. And I didn't get this part finished on either side. I didn't get this finished. And, you know, there's little updates and upgrades here and there I, I will make eventually. But it does come fully equipped with a bunch of megatons. A rear collector that feeds the top. Bunch of saws, a whole whack of drills, and some really big wheels, and a couple trains, and of course the anchor. And it is a rotating anchor, even though it is very slow. Now I tried the Geocore one, and it did not work worth a crap, so I went with the Hawkeye one. So let's just see what this thing is kind of capable of. It'll scoot around at about 28. Oh, we're gonna hit the 30 mark, 35 maybe. Oh, well, we might get up to 35 eventually. But let's just see what we can do as we do a little drive-by action. Well, we missed it a touch. We'll just have to stop for that one, I guess. We're just going to lay a hurting on everything that is enemy. Get him. Oh, just knocking the chunks out of that. That's good enough for me. I like it. We're going to drive right at that cube and we're going to throw a hurting on it. See how many, how long that really does take. Get all the cannons aimed at it. It'll be that much faster. You can see it will put a bit of damage out with that many guns. It's still there? Nope, it's gone already. Haha, <laughs> nice! <laughs> now I'm not even going to bother going over that way because I know this thing will walk over every turret down there. Probably won't even really take a scratch. Well, maybe some missiles might hurt it. But for the most part, I'm liking it. It makes it up most of the hills. It won't, I haven't tried mountains per se. I kept getting hung up on these front drills. I'm going to do something different with that when I get back into the campaign. But that's for another day. So from there, what I think we're going to do is we're going to jump into our first submissions and we'll be back in just a second with them after I restart the R&D. Well for our first group of submissions they were created by Ardvark123 and we are gonna go with let's try the GSO do anythinger. Haha I kinda like the name too that's pretty neat. Now I'm thinking yep it charges up has rockets so we get a little extra speed. 83, that's pretty good. Oh, 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 okay, a little high, uh, high on the center of gravity. So we'll just maybe take that easy. And we will see if it will. Hey, uh, does it anchor? It might anchor. Enemies are too close, so... We'll just back up into here for a second. And it does. Nice, it's got a little solar array antenna slash deal. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But we're already charged, so we'll just go ahead and let's see if it can do anything. Take that. Oh, the target small. Should be called small target. Ah, shot your face off. So far as doing anything I like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got the magnets going. We can actually carry resources, too, so let's try that out. Oh, we got a little wheat wiggle going on here. Get rid of that stupid rock. Pick up some resources. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now let's give her a bit of a test. We're going to run over to here. 
Now we might lose a bunch of stuff, or maybe they'll mess with us while we're in here. I'm gonna go to this one though. Back up just a wee bit. Oh yeah, buddy, look at us go. Well, I was handling this really nice. Steers good. Oh, we ran out of a boost. Oh, we were a little too slow, but that's all right. It'll do it. Just a matter of we used too much fuel before. And what are we stuck on now? Shouldn't be stuck on anything. Oh, is it the resources that are buggering us up? Oh, we can't get out that way. Okay, let's try this. Now, can it really do anything? Er. <laughs> yes, it can. Uh-oh. Nose down. We didn't lose nothing, though, so that's pretty damn cool. Haha, <laughs> look at us go. That works out good. So I'd say he named that quite effectively. Oh, let's blow up the stick of dynamite. Let's get her. This one. Boom goes the dynamite. There it goes. Perfect. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> I'm liking that one. Yeah, she will. She'll hit 83. At, well, like we've seen it the one. And as long as we're not doing 83 and then try to turn, it's pretty damn stable, too. I like it. Good job. Good job. So the next one we got from Aardvark123 is Hawkeye Angry Goat. Hope it ain't too angry. Oh, and it has picking up resource capacity, too. Liking it. Oh, we should check to see if it has batteries. Look at the guns on the front of this beast. It is ready for a fight. Oh, it'll do 60... 60 something. We'll test that out in a second. We'll get all charged up here first, so... Alright, that was pretty good. We're gonna head over where there's a fight, though. These aren't really going to be much of a fight, I don't think. Oh, railguns. I'm liking it. Boom! You blow up now. Nah. <laughs> Got a lot of little guns going at it. Get in there. Come on. Oh, hit that fuel. Oh, she's gone! Explosive bomb you are. <laughs> Let's see how we do against some turrets. We're fully powered up, so we should do all right, I think. Get those rail guns hitting. You'd blow up. Ha ha. How about you? Let's not make it too easy for him. Do a little zigzag pattern. Oh, we're down on our batteries. Okay, well, we might blow up a little bit. But I think we can still take out the next one. Especially if we get creative with it. Ah, there goes your shields. Yeah, you like my neck? I bet you don't. Oh, we got gotcha. you. See if we can take out his shields from back here. Oh yeah, there they go. No, we're not standing there. You have to fight to friggin' target us. Oh, we drove into it, but we got him. That's all right. We're losing a bit of weapons, but we still got firepower. So I'd say that's a pretty good tank for a little battle, uh, the little battery capacity it has. That puts some damage on them foes. Okay, well now this next one, it is, I think it was down here, the Venture Hover Fighter. Nice. Oh, that does scoot along pretty good, hundred and something. Let's see if it needs any batteries, though. I didn't lose something already, did I? Got a really wicked wobble to it. Or bobbing effect. No batteries? Oh, I thought there might be. Oh, let's get us bubbled up. Stays there pretty good. Doesn't seem to want to wander off too bad. <laughs> Is that all the batteries? You fully charged? Can't see a battery in there anywhere. Okay, well, we'll take that as good. Let's see what we can do. 
Oh yeah. I'm going right over to these turrets. I want to see what we can do maneuver wise. Might be fun. Will be fun. Oh, they got us a little bit. I think we lost one t one missile launcher. Got a little too close on that. Turn around, turn around. Oh, we got you. We'll just head down the line and see if we can get some more. See, we do like a zigzag pattern. They're going to have a harder time hitting us. We'll turn right around. Get into these little harder turrets. Then we'll get a real test. Those little guys, well, we took most of them out pretty good with the last one, so, you know, I didn't figure they'd put up a fight, but this guy here, he could put up a fight if he can hit us. But we're fast enough where I don't think he will. Oh, ticked us a little bit. Whoa, he just filled the air there. Get after it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, you're getting a hurt and put on you now. Ha ah, ha, gotcha. That blew him right up. Yes, it did. And we still haven't even used up all our batteries yet, so that is awesome. Turn a little bit, a little bit, yeah, take it, take it. Yeah, I'm putting a hurting on you. He's got a lot of batteries though, so I don't know if we're going to be able to take him out per se, but, well, not quickly anyway. But we'll give it a little bit of a fight. Let's go down the road though. See what we can do. So I want to test it against the missiles. See if we're evasive enough to be able to dodge them. Ooh, dodge that crap. Oh, yeah, we are. And he's got a lot of them he wants to shoot at us. So, oh, oh, got us a bit. Ow. Shot me right in my bits. Uh oh, no, don't turn that sharp. Oh, oh he got us. <laughs> that thing is fun. I did really good. And that was just with regeneration bubbles. No shields, no nothing. We did fairly good. That was my first time trying it. So, you know, hats off to you, Aardvark123. You did a heck of an awesome job with that. Let's see what it can do to this sign. The sign always takes a beat. And I know, I know. Oh, tripped on it. Thought it would have got up a little higher than that. Fly right through you. Ha ha ha. Take that. And a little bit of that. Some more of that, too. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what you got. Oh, I think all it did was knock our bottom rocket launchers off. Or RPGs off. So I'd say that's a pretty good hover fighter there. Appropriately named and everything. Very cool. So I'm going to restart the R&D and we'll back, be back with the next ones. Just a second. Alright, for our next group of techs, they have been created by Ben Bacon, and let's see what he's got for us. The first one is a Banshee. Where is the Banshee? Probably up near the top, eh? Banshee! Ooh, nice. It's got the bombs, got some nice looking little lasers on her, and it looks sporty. I think we're having some fun with this. Oh, that goes right up in the air, no problems. Got gyros for stability. Ha <laughs> nice. Can we do all the tricks? Oh, it does. Perfect. I'm liking that. Oh, we missed a little bit. That's alright. I was kind of off on my aim there. Oh, too late. Oh, they made it all the way over to that one. Wow, that's surprising. I like that. That turns nice too. Look at that. Just whips right around. 
Uh, I gotta get my flying under control here. There, this should work. Tag, you're it. <laughs> See if we can drop him like that. That's a little hit. No, nah, I threw him way out. I should do this. Watch where I'm flying, not all around behind me. Ah, that'll help, probably. Oh, gotcha. Now yeah, we could always do this, too, because this is a very effective maneuver, I find. Oh, if I do it right. Gonna hit him? No. What about that one? Oh, we almost hit that one with the first ones we laid it. Let's go this way. Uh, I'm right over top of when I'm dropping them. That's the problem. I see. It's been a while since I played with a bomber. That should hit. Yeah. That's what you deserve. We hit him. Oh, we did too. Still survived though. I'm surprised. Let's see if that'll hit. No. Too far off. Go down a wee bit. Do a bombing run here. Oh, the carnage! Ha ha ha! Got her lined up fairly nice. Oh, we're just chipping blocks off all of them. Beautiful! Take it, chumps. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, we put a hurting on that whole row. Let's see if we can get lined back up again. Now this is an effective bomber. <laughs> Did we get him? Nope, oh, we gotta get back in the center a bit. Oh, get it. Oh, we missed one? I ah, probably ain't gonna hit it. But ah, that's pretty cool. Let's see how she glides. Oh crap, she starts falling. Well, well, we only dinged up a wheel a little bit. We didn't really hurt it too bad. But yeah, you could definitely stay in the air for quite a while with that and just lay damage on everybody. I like the lasers too under it. <laughs> that looks pretty neat too. Okay, well, let's get on to our next one here. And that one would be the Mini Bomber. Where is it? This one? Mini Bomber MK-14. Oh, you got the cruise missiles on this one. Well, we better charge up. We'll just go run back to here for a second. What we got? Oh, six cruise missiles? That is going to throw a hurting on a lot of stuff. So I'm not sure what we're going to be able to blow up. I think we got most of everything already dealt with. We'll go for a fly around and we can blow up the sign and some of these other targets too, though. It'll give us a good idea what it's capable of. Uh oh, we need a ramp for this one? Huh. Okay, let's do... Okay, there's one other trick I can try. There we go, give it a wiggle. Sometimes that's all it needs. Oh, I guess I hit the ground. Yeah, <laughs> we got the RPG behind it. Oh, that was nice. Oh, let's go get this one. He looks all lonely and left out down here. We better just go deal with him. Yeah, we didn't forget about ya. Oh, is he gonna do the back and flip? You can do it, man. I believes in ya. No, I guess a little bit of a roll to it, but yeah, it does it. Okay, we'll go back down the line here. Coming in hot. Aha! Now you're leaving hot. Take that, sucker. 
Oh, yeah, you're not going to survive. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave those other targets for the next tech. <laughs> but I'm going to go up here and fly around a little bit. Because why not? Seems fun to me. Oh, no, it's a really big backflip. Yeah, we can thread this right. Oh, it gets over the top. It speeds right up. <laughs> okay, let's try this then. Go over like this, like that. A little down, a little more. Yep, level up, level up. Down, down, down. Yeah. And we made it. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, this is a nice stable flyer, man. You lay missiles out on everybody, they wouldn't even have a chance of touching you. Well, unless they had missiles and you flew in the wrong spot, I guess. Weren't evasive enough. But it handles nice, like it's not real touchy, but it's touchy enough where the steering is responsive. Oh, I was too low. Oh, that hurts. Come on. Get out of there. You know you won't, Stu. A little wiggle? No? Not happening? Yeah, that's one thing I find with some planes. You just give them a little wiggle, and they're up. Just got to get both wheels get off the ground at, like, the split second you can hit that. And then it'll pull up for you. Yeah, I'm going to let that in. I'm going to try and thread the needle, so to speak. Well, that little pause didn't help at all, but it didn't hurt really either that time, so that's all right. We'll go up and over. See if we can get it turned in here. Oh, I was right out the ground. All right, well, we're going to try the next one here. The third of Ben Bacon's submissions, and it is this one, Strike Bike V2. Holy crow, look at the weaponry on this thing. <laughs> oh, and it's got lots of batteries. And I'm guessing that thing flows pretty fast. Oh, 98, just about 100. And you don't even have to hold shift, it just does it. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be uh, pretty damaging to anything that's in its way. Vapors. Those cannons on there. I forget what they're called. Those ones right there. Rapid cannon. Yeah, they are something. Let's go get this thing charged up and we'll take out those last uh, targets that are left. Actually, we don't need them because they don't, we don't need to charge it up necessarily. But we will get charged up a little bit. We'll get the bubbles showing anyway. We'll see if we can take out while we're getting charged. Oh, I'm liking the Hawkeye bubbles. Yeah, we're even hitting all the way down there. Like we're hitting the bomb from here, and I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be within range. Like cruise missiles won't even hit that far. Oh, let's get those auto cannons on it. Oh wow, that was weird. Throwing me all over. Got blocks stuck on my wheels. Oh, it just drained that. Such fat, rapid firing, all the everything hitting it. It's just gonna chew it up. Take it apart, come on, you can do it. I know you can, you want to, too. Oh, that was vicious. I'm liking that. It's got the normal little lasers, it's got the needler, needle laser. And those odd rapid cannons and all the mortars to boot. 
Very cool. And it's got a bunch of batteries too. Like we just barely charged it up. That is sweet. And I like the wheel placements too. They work nice. Very cool, Ben Bacon. I'm liking that. So I'm going to restart the R&D and we'll be back in just a minute with another bunch. So just a minute. Alright, our next couple of submissions that have been uh, created by Burnyard. I think I got it right. If I messed up your name, sorry. I was kind of guessing. But his first one is a Deathbot. And it does look deadly. I will admit. We got the little laser sight there. We got that. Why is it wobbling? So the treads is going weird with. But then it's got the two heavy cannons too. So let's see what she does. Top speed of 74. Can't go wrong with that. Let's see what it does to these. pretty maneuverable. I'm liking that. Boom! Completely armored. And it looks like it has a bunch of fuel inside. Oh, nice! This spread it all over the place. Kinda wonder what it'll do on here. 73. Oh, two with two treading it. I'm kinda wonder if it'll make the loop. Let's see if it will. I don't care about the timer or nothing. I just want to see if it'll make the loop. Oh, 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 so close. It wasn't going to be... Oh, dang it. It wasn't going to be perfect, but it did work to some extent. There. That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> it's got me wondering, will it make it up this ramp? Like, 73 is pretty fast, so I'm guessing maybe if you could do, like, 90 or 100, you'd make that loop. Let's see what it does here, though. Oh, yeah, it's too far at the bottom. Thrusters just want to bring it out. But it can do a backflip. Nah! Let's see how long she boosts for. Probably quite a while, because I'm thinking there's a lot of fuel in there. Get those cannons the right way. We'll try and take these out. Oh, gotcha. Oh, gosh. Going around them ain't going to be as effective. Whoa, catwalk. Nice. Well, right through them. Ha <laughs> ha. It's one vicious looking ball, I tell you. Oh, nice. Those big cannons, they throw the damage out. Oh, they got us. That's pretty good for no shields, no nothing. I bet you I forgot to charge it. Should have charged it, eh? Let me try that. Yeah, we'll see what it does when it's charged. Yeah, that might be fair, a fair idea, eh? Yep. I seen that Geocore battery in there, so we better try it this way. See if we can make it down the rest of them. Stop aiming back. We want to go this way. Oh, we got this guy here. We almost forgot one. That'd be like a shame, wouldn't it? Yeah, we didn't forget you, buddy. You're not my tech. Why are you called player tech? I did not build you. Ooh. I didn't build you. Okay, it might not have as much battery as I thought those Geocore ones held, but pretty damn nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out on this next turret, and then from there I'm going to get into his next tech. So I want to leave at least a couple targets to go after. Oh, get it. Nice. Took it out. And we didn't even take damage. It was just enough to knock our bubbles down. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. So our next one is MLRS MAV. Or MAV. Um, this one? Yep. Oh. V7. Oh. 
It is ready for some stuff. We got magnets. We got missiles. Rail guns. More missiles. Oh, we even got some mini guns. I like these repeating rifles. They're pretty nice. But I bet, yeah, we need some battery power. Stop chasing me! So we're gonna run back here for a minute. That thing's clips along pretty good. 105? Wonder if this would make the loot. Huh. Did we get it? <laughs> oh, lay off on the boosters. Oh, it throws some damage around, doesn't it? Is it anchor? Nope, no anchor. What I am going to do, though, is while we're waiting for this to charge up, we're going to get all them friggin' blocks off of it. So we can start kind of fresh. There, that'll make it better. At least we won't have to worry about them jamming into us or nothing. And we're off. Ah, uh, drive by. It's not just the gangs that can do them. Uh uh. Us Terra Techians or Techologists, we do it too. And we might be better at it because we use more guns. Let's get into this. I'm not really going to worry about using boost on this. I'm hoping I can just drive in and just lay waste. Take out all the important parts of each turret. I'm surprised that venture one was so tough. Turn the guns around, come on. Oh, look at that. Just annihilating them. And we're picking up all the blocks to boot. Oh, I guess we may have our capacity on the magnets, but we're doing good. Get a bit of an angle here, maybe it won't hurt us so much. Take that and that. Get this guy, he's got freaking missiles. Oh, took shots there. Our missile things aren't aimed the right way. Oh, I think we put a hurting on them though. I'm just gonna drive right around you till you blow up. And hopefully we don't blow up. Oh, did we knock all the weapons off him? I think we did. Ha <laughs> ha! He's hurting now. Keep firing, don't stop. We almost got his bubbles gun. Get him. Ha uh ha. -huh. You die, fool. Well, that'll clear out a problem pretty fast, won't it? And we didn't even lose all our, our bubbles at all. Very nice, Burnyar. I think that may be how it's supposed to be. I could be wrong, though. But yeah, those are some cool attacks, man. Thanks for submitting those. Those were fun. And I remember you calling that other one the Death Nut. Or the Testicle of Doom or something. I thought it was funny. <laughs> but I'm going to restart the R&D and we'll be back with our next submissions. So just a second. Okay, we're back. And next we got some creations submitted from Erse or Erse. Not exactly sure on the pronunciation, but I think I'm close. But the first one we got here is Venture Skyrider. So we're going to load that one up. Ooh, I'm liking that. That looks sporty. It's fast on the ground even. Oh, it, it wants to take off though. It, it's a definite flyer. We're going to bubble this bad boy up and get it ready for some action. Oh, just the healing bubbles. Right on. And we're off. Now I like the use of them wheels too instead of like the normal wheels you see. What's oh look at that. Got a bunch of missiles underneath. I'm liking that idea. Now I'm gonna head right to about the middle. We're gonna throw some hurting on some of these techs. See if we can level her out a bit. Yeah. Oh, we can do the maneuvers too. Beauty. I am liking that. 
You ain't touching me, fool. Oh, we're a little late. Let's see if we can time it. We'll get this guy here, hopefully. Oh, no, we better go for this guy over here. Come on, get lined up. That one should have hurt him. And the nice thing with this is we can try this idea. Oh, that, that made contact. Oh, where'd they go? Back to the other one? Oh, we hit something with that. Oh, that's a good one. 107, too. Oh. Okay, let's see what happens when we're nosed up a little bit. That'll do 90s. Oh, oh. And we can park right there if we like. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, don't be stuck. But we can save it. Woo, nice. Oh, yeah, that thing is nice. Good flyer. Get back like this. See if we can make it through. Oh, we were going to hit it, but we dodged it. See if we can line up for at least one of these turrets. We'll get something done on this. Oh, yeah. I don't think those little missile pods do a lot, but there's a lot of them. So they are effective. Oh, I, I'm having fun with this one. Yeah, how do you like that? Shooting me, will you? <laughs> Take that, chump. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we got wedged. No, get out of there. Get out. Hit the B button. Okay, let's do it this way then. Suck on that, Sally. And we're gone. I don't think we lost any parts either, so you know what? That is cool. Oh, I got you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if we can do a little low level flying and get them. I'm going to pick on this one. Oh, we got him. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Get back to driving. Wants to fly half of the time. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't help when you lose half of your wings. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Well, since we've been grounded, sort of, let's get on to our next one. And it is... The Hover Carrier. Oh, it's a bigger one. I think we should probably get... Maybe we should charge up a little bit. It's a little slower on the turning. But look at the holy crappedness he's got in there. Whoa, that was weird. Don't get in there. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, 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 no. Well, uh, I don't think they knocked anything off us, so we'll be all right. Let's see if we can slide through this spot. Just try and get some batteries, people. It actually seems to set it back while it's trying to fire. Now, these missiles here, I don't know if they're going to hit anything. So they're probably going to dead end into that. But it is nice. Let the fuel all fill up. I'm betting there's a lot of batteries to charge in this one. You've got a nice little contr or cockpit up top there. Let's see what it takes to charge up one bar on this beast. Slow down, slow down. Turn around. Oh, oh, no, it's going too far. 
Oh, we clipped it. I'm liking the use of the resource blocks too for design. That's pretty cool. Oh, it has the AA guns too. Nice. There's a lot going on here. We got mortars. Oh, we got the skew in there, looks like. <laughs> we got some missiles. We got lots of missiles. Look at all these missiles. Yeah, some of them aren't firing, but might just be there for design, or... I'm wondering... I'm gonna let it charge up a bit. Doesn't it have bubbles? Should be bubbles turning on by now. No bubbles, eh? Huh. Has mobile skew, though. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna say, is that someone shooting us, or is that just our missiles blowing up? <laughs> let's get out of there for a second. We'll get this turned around. Why won't it turn around? Was turn there we go. It was turning on right before. Seems like if you hit reverse, it really messes up the steering. You just slide sideways. Ooh, let's not do that too much. We want to get back lined up so we're ready for this guy. Ah, crap, we might not be able to. Does forward help? Forward helps a little bit. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it does. It gives a little stutter every time it shoots. That's different. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, we'll see what happens. Okay, now this says it's a carrier. So what I'm wondering is what if we go through here, <laughs> we'll hit the rockets, and we're going to hit X. There they go. Look at that. Come on, work for us. Don't mess up. Come on. It wants to work. It does, I think. Do what's pro And it crashed. That's one thing I've noticed. This update's bad for crashing. I'm not sure why, but... We'll try that one again, maybe. Back in a second. Alright, I think we're ready to try her again. Let's see what it does. We're going to stop firing. Oh, it blew that up good. I guess we're going to run into that for a second. Doesn't seem to want to stay where I want it. It has ideas of doing stuff on its own. Okay, calm down a little bit. Calm down. Back up. Can we back up? Let us back up a little bit. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to try X, and hopefully it doesn't crash this time. Okay, ready? And go. Not touching nothing? There it is. Hey, where'd he going? Hey, guys. <laughs> Wish I could see them in action. Oh, there's one. Where's he going? Oh, is he coming back down to the ground? No, he's up there. Oh, there's no cabs. Okay, so yeah, they're just meant to be your buddies. That's pretty sweet. I'd use build beam, but then that's just going to slow things down even more. So I'm not going to do that. But look at that. It cleared it right out. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that one. And now it's cleaning up. Look at them all bouncing. There's a bunch of them in there, eh? That's a pretty cool idea. I like that. And then you got your your main carrier still, and it has weapons of its own. The skews are a nice touch for the visuals, but without... Can we anchor? Nah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had any luck anchoring hover techs. I don't see an anchor down here either, so... Yeah, I don't see any anchors. 
But that's pretty cool. They fly around <laughs> and just keep on going, looking for an enemy. I wonder if they'll follow me. Come on over this way, fellas. Let's go see if we can take out some turrets. They're coming. It looks like they are. Let's see if we can lure them over here to do some damage for us. <laughs> ah, the swarm. Get them, fellows. There we go. Ah, <laughs> nice. I'm liking that. We're just clearing house. I'd like to get back into the middle there so we can actually go down the row, but... It's not really cooperating with us. Here, let's do this. Come on, guys, get that guy behind me. You're being a real jerk shooting me in my tenders. Ah, he got me. Oh, am I stuck on that sign now? No! Help me out, guys. Right on. Good job, fellas. Or fella. Oh, I think we're stuck in there. Oh, there we go. We're off it. Come on, let's get, let's get me in here a little bit. Let's do something like that. There, now we should be good. We'll just kind of cruise on down the line. Take him out. Ooh, took him out too. Aggressively. Could stand a little more fuel, though. Come on, guys. Over this way. I don't know why I'm going sideways, but I am. Yeah, they're all lining up coming, though. Let's see when we get back into the mix here. See if they'll attack on their way through. I'm going to take him out just because he offended me. He looked funny. Ah, knocked the gun right off, you slappy nuts. Get him, fellas. Why aren't you shooting yet? Shoot him. Stop shooting me. Get him, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. <coughs> they do follow, though. So that's pretty cool. So you know how I, I might have said that, you know, the showcases, uh, they inspire people? Well, I got kind of an idea doing something like this with the hovers. Because hover actually seems to be way more reliable than anything on the ground. And then it's just a matter of uh, getting my shape, my design. So that's pretty sweet. I like the use of the new missile pods too. That's awesome. Very good builds. But we have spent quite a while on this one. So we better get back to some more. So I'm going to restart. And we'll be back. We'll get them. Yeah, we're going to watch this first. Get him. Yeah, swarm. Oh, take him out. Come on, fellas. It'd be nice if they cluster up a little tighter, like a formation, but they are doing quite nice. Yeah, I'll just help my a little bit. Yeah. So back in a second, but hey, good job, Erse. I'm liking that one. Or Erse, sorry. Trying not to mess your name up, but I might. My bad. But very cool build. Just one second. All right, we're back. We all restarted. We actually loaded up a save. That it was submitted by Jamie, and he's got us a couple more multi-text to look at. So this one here is called Big Walker. So let's just see how it goes. I'm thinking we need to just pull this. Pull. And we will pull. And we will pull. <laughs> right on. That's pretty cool. 
He seems to really like the walk and multi tags. Now I've seen a bunch of different multi tech walkers and that, and I've had a couple ideas for what I want to do. And this is just, you know, it's giving me even more ideas. I'm loving it. Very cool. I just wish these things didn't necessarily, you know, maybe we have like a pad we could put under them or something for legs, like feet. It, it, you know, it wouldn't have to take damage. Because after a while, you know, it is going to wear out your batteries. But, you know, there's other ways around it. Like, he doesn't have uh, a regeneration station on here, which is more than likely completely possible. This thing's not struggling at all. So it could handle the weight and everything. But as you can see, like, we need a foot. Not just wheels. But I'm thinking that could be coming just because more and more people are making walkers, multi-techs and such. So, you know, I'm hoping that's something they add. And I could almost say that it's going to be Jamie that inspires it. So, you know what? That's awesome, dude. I'm really liking that. Do we get any steering capabilities? It doesn't look like it. It walks straight forward. But as far as automated walkers go, that's pretty damn cool. As you can see, he's using the hover glitch, the forces from the hover pads against the wheels to get her to spin, along with the new bearings in that. Makes it walk so much nice and or cleaner than using like batteries and angled armor and stuff as your bearings. Those probably still will work, it's just this is nicer, probably a smaller space it takes up too, so you know, that's, that's awesome use of the new multi-tech blocks. But yep, that is pretty damn cool. Almost wish I had a ramp for it to go up. Kind of wonder how it would handle the ramp. It probably worked pretty good for the most part. Transitioning from flat ground to a ramp might be a trick. But you never know. I bet you it might do fairly well. As long as the ramp's wide enough. Those double ramps back at the start would maybe do it. But I ain't going to try and revert back to there because, well, this is a multi-tech and I don't really want to tear it all apart. That'd kind of suck. This thing's put together quite nicely. I want to leave it like that. I almost wanted to sit and watch it walk. <laughs> but he does have some more saves for us to check out. So props to you, man. That was awesome. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're a guy. Sorry. I don't want to assume... <laughs> But anyway, let's get to the next one. We're going to load it up. And let's go with... We have... Boxer 16. Let's see what it, it does. I think I know, but... I read a little bit about this one. Now, if I'm correct, he was saying it'd be better if they fought each other. Like, two of them. But as far as having a second one, I don't. So I'm going to... Oh, uh, it's a two-tech two thing, is it? Yeah, there's more than one in there. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to set it all up for a second one. Sorry, man. But if you like to see the battle... Submit a save with them both set up. Because it would take a while just to figure them out. And honestly, I don't really have that much time. I'm just playing in between things here. But we're going to try this one out. Let's see how she goes. Well, boom. And like that. And I want to be on this one, I guess. Oh, my anchored? Yeah, anchored. So I'll lose the anchors. What am I stuck on? Okay, now we're all unanchored. What's our drive tag? Well, what's this about? Fixed anchor. We're just going to rip that out of there then. There, now we're moving. Oh, 
<clears throat> I thought it was supposed to be like a piston action. I miss something? There's something moving around in there. But it doesn't seem to be catching anything. Let's just take this little fella. We'll hop in here. Go BB. Oh, come unhooked. Well, I'm not going to say I'm surprised because I've seen that happen a few times. It's kind of disappointing though. Because the, that just means the game ain't really smart enough to load these things right. So we're going to just try that once more. Maybe I did something wrong. We'll try things and we'll see. Hopefully it'll work out though. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what it's supposed to do. So just give me one second actually. I'm going to check on something. Okay, I didn't really see any special instructions, so I'm guessing that it should work. The one thing I am wondering, though, is if it's... Ah, crap. If it's because of the explosions from uh, the explosive bolts. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to try that one. Ah, I didn't want to do that one first. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. Oh. Didn't work. Now they keep detaching. There's the actual one connection there. Looked like it was going to work there for a minute. Alright, one more try. See if we can get her figured out. This is going to be another long showcase. I might have to make this into two parts. Okay, so I want to... <coughs> huh. So I kind of want to leave that one alone. So let's try these. I'm going to do these two first. Go like that, hopefully nothing falls out. Okay, that's got me wondering there. I didn't think they should really separate like that. Go into this little feller. Yeah, unattached again. Okay, well, what are we missing here? There's got to be something that's not right. We didn't touch that. So that's what I was thinking. That's the one we got to leave. Or maybe we should do that one first. Okay, one more try. Let's just try that. We'll leave that. We'll hit this one first. That's what we're after. Hopefully it'll work this time. Okay, so we want this one. I'm going to go X. I'm going to hope nothing fell apart. Let's check just to make sure. No, it looks like it's all still attached. Cool, cool. All right, then we're going to go to here. Let's try that one. And that one. Not looking like it's working. No, it did tore itself apart again. 
I'm guessing he had it working, but for some reason it does not like me. It just keeps dropping one end or the other. Usually, like I know from experience, those explosive bolts, they really screw with some stuff. <coughs> like uh, multi-techs and that. If you've seen my Roadworks uh, series, my three episodes for that, you'll know what I mean. Blowing the whole freaking road right out from under me. But yeah, good idea though. I get it like the Rock'em Sock'em robots idea where they're like piston action. They go in and they pound on each other until one of them blows up or dies, you know. I'm liking the idea. I just really wish it had worked for me. That would have been cool. Still very good idea. But we do have some more to get to, so we're going to go and get into them. So let's just see what else we got in here. Now, I know he submitted four. I said there was a limit of three, so I'm going to pick this one. And we're going to do these three. Because, like I said, this is already getting to be pretty long. He's got himself a four by four, looks like. Nah, cool. So I am going to take uh, that one off. And that one off. And that one off. And that one off. Okay, oh, this even got guns and everything. It's ready for a fight. Right on. And I'm guessing that should be it. As long as we're in this one and we hit the extra button. What would we get stuck on? Oh, this. Yeah, right, we'll get rid of that. That. And, yep, we'll lose that one too. Oh, there we go. Only had to get rid of three. Ha! <laughs> nice. And it's got the big battleship cannons on the top. That thing is gonna rain hell on something. No, oh, right on. Even got the little uh, cab up there that can shoot too. That's cool. And we can turn. Yep. I thought I figured that was happening. Now, it looks like you use batteries for the bearings, or the axle of them, so that's pretty neat. You know, give you your charging. Oh, you got dual cabs. Ah, redundancy. This thing actually goes around at just about 30. That's pretty sweet. And doesn't look like it's taking any damage. Which is kind of surprising since there are batteries right on the bottom. The treads would be on the battery. That's pretty neat though. It's the curve of the, uh, the uh, venture blocks, I guess, keeping them safe. <laughs> Turns pretty good too for just being fan powered for the turning. And the wheels all keep moving same speed, so, you know, they're all synced up, looks like. Well, they're pretty close to synced up. <laughs> Man, that's another bunch of awesome techs there, Jamie. I'm liking them. The multi-techs. Can't go wrong with that kind of cool. Well, if you look at the radar, the way the techs are moving, it's all going squirrely. <laughs> it doesn't know where to keep up with them. I wonder how far we are away from everything. I wouldn't mind seeing this in battle. Who's wrong one? Where's the frickin' radar? Ah, we're going the wrong way. Or are we? No, we're not. I seen it. We're at the back. That'd take a while, though, won't it? Oh, we gotta go that way? Why isn't it showing us where the other stuff is? I think it's that way we need to go. Well, I don't know, we might be too close now. I'm guessing we don't have reverse. Do we? No, it still <laughs> it just spins its tires. It says, screw you, I don't back up for nobody. And then it wants to go this way. <laughs> I 
Yeah, with that kind of firepower on it, I could see it doing some pretty good damage to the targets. It is going to take a long time to get there, though. So I'm kind of thinking we're just going to leave that one at that. We can tell how cool that is. Any self-respecting uh, techologist knows that's pretty damn sweet. So once again, you know, awesome submissions. Very cool, to say the least. Keep up the good work, Jamie. I'd have to say you love your multi-techs. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, though. So I think we're going to get into the next batch. So I will be back in just a second after I reload the R&D.